So if you, whichever one of y'all goes into losers finals, especially if it's Don. Yeah. Oh my God. If that yeah. if that set happens, uh, Don Quaver is one of these two. You're gonna have to fight the crowd. You're gonna have to fight momentum. Yeah. You're gonna fight all that. So they don't want to yeah. be down there. They want to be up here. Exactly. All right, here we go. We got Lima versus Moist Goblin going on to FD for the first uh, stage. This is a really uncommon first stage. A lot of people find it really polarizing. Yeah, actually. Um, but I think that just speaks to like how not only just confident these two uh, players are in themselves, but also just how these two characters operate. Yeah. Like, yeah. You know, Bayonet is fine with FD. It just you think not being able to land is like a big thing, but Lima is a big, big proponent of why would I need to land if when there's a ledge right here? <laughs> exactly. Like, I'll, just, I'll just go to the yeah. ledge, and you're not going to ledge shot me. I'm, I'm, I'm too good with this character. I control them too well. And then Goblin, you don't. I have no platforms to worry about. I'm a fast baller, so landing is not really like a thing I have to, have to worry about. Hmm. It's like, you know, I'm, I'm fine here. So, good nice. little start for these two. Held the block for a long time, but Lima prepared for that. All right, gets a little bit of damage off that Witch Twist into ABK. Witch Twist up air. Double edge stance gonna send Lima upwards. He tried to catch a landing right there, didn't really get anything that he wanted right there. So up till into the back air is gonna meet him, and Lima is up on this first stop. Good tech on that blazer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ooh. Weak down tilt. Not gonna send him into a tech situation. All right. It, it's gonna be it's gonna be tough for Bayonetta to really get some good offense starting in this set. Yeah. Unless Roy is actively like trying to press buttons on her, because that right. witch twist is going to scoop up pretty much everything that he wants to do. Yeah. On that Ooh. strong up tilt. <laughs> it's up to is one of those moves that almost never gets the strong hitbox. Yeah, so. that's a, it has random hitboxes, it feels like. Yeah. Whether, whether that move is sweet spots or not, it's complete RNG, I, I feel like. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Thanks. Keeping it pretty close. So let's see. Lima trying to find his land right there. Nair's Goblin either recognizing the lag and saying, yeah, this is probably too risky to drop shield, turn around, and then go for a punish on, so we yeah. just let it fly. Uh, but now you will see that what I was talking about earlier. Goblin tried to hit buttons around Bayonetta's like bubble, and then immediately the wish was came out. Frame yep. six out of shield. I'm gonna I'm gonna press it if you mess up. Nice to get the jump. No, not quite. No, but he got that jump with that back air. Oh my goodness. It's so it's so solid. But the edge guarding on Lima, yeah. he's been he's been so good with it all weekend. Yeah, Lima's number one quality of this tournament has been catching jumps. Mm -hmm. He's been amazing at it. I feel like it's just such an important thing for Bayonetta because she does have that super duper strong back air, mm -hmm. and if she can take a jump with uh one of her like many, many combo routes. If you, yeah. she could take your jump within those, and she just gets to add on so much more damage. She gets to trap the landing. She gets to send you off stage. It's yeah. just so good for him. And now Lima, ton of momentum here. Goblin went for the read, but wasn't quite able to find it. All right. Oh, blocking that down tilt. Not going to get caught by that job, though. Uh, parry. Now, that's the kind of stuff that Goblin's probably going to be looking for. He got yep. the parry, and then when he hears that sound effect, he's like, okay, I can probably do something right here. Yeah. Nice rise above. Saving for the, uh, the triple jump there. All right, up tilt. Not going to get the back air, though. Good DI from Goblin. All right, Ford are going to get Bayonetta on the right side of the stage. And that back air is going to do it right here. But yep. 133 on Goblin is going to be a, he a hell of a climb to try yeah. to make up this deficit. Especially when Bayonetta's back is to you and you're at red percent. You already know what's coming. All right, okay. 20 percent, 31 percent. Not able to find the, uh, the two frame. Okay. Oh, that oh, would have killed. It. Yeah, he rolled it. Why does that happen so much to her? Y'all ah. can't let her have anything anymore. <laughs> <laughs> like, she's still paying for all those previous crimes. Oh, man. And now if Lima loses, that's a painful, yeah, painful you, loss. Because, like, you saw the win. Like, right. you yeah. saw the jab hit. And that rapid jab, yes, it would have killed. That his move is crazy buffed. Oh, up air into the forward air, 81%. Hold on now. This is, like, dangerous, like, jab percent right here. Yeah. If Roy throws at that jab and you get caught slipping, I'm afraid of what happens to you. Max Rage Roy coming in. All right, strong back here, strong back here. Going to get Lima off stage at 94%. Recovers right to that ledge. What's Goblin going to do? Jab. Whoa. Oh! The, mm. And that's that move, all right? Yo. I promise you it's shield grabbable. It's just not reactable. That's what it is. Yeah, that's the thing, man. Like, jab is not, like, supremely safe, but it's the fear of what happens after jab if you mess up. Yeah. And it's the the fear of spot dodge canceling. Like, what if, what if I, like... I'm like a frame off, and he yeah. gets a spot dodge out, and then he just jabs again, and I just got a back air. Yeah. So a lot of different things coming into play right there. When Lima saw the second jab on his shield, it was just kind of like, you know, yeah. you ever you ever tap a, a fishbowl? <laughs> like, yeah, you yeah. see how the fish reacts. It's exactly mm. what it feels like on Roy is just poking at your shield with right. that jab. It's that scene from Finding Nemo where the kid with the brace Why top are you gold. sleeping? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you shielding? <laughs> So moving on to game two now, and that that is a tough one because Lima was just so in control for most mm -hmm. of the game. I would say like 90% of the game, his control. 
He yeah. dictated how to win. Exactly. And then Goblin on that last side, he just puts it together. He, he keeps that stock on him. Right. And as long as you have a stock, you have a chance. Exactly, yeah. Like nice double blazer. And a nice little punish right there. He throws out the, the forward air one just in case he goes to top platform. Mm -hmm. Reacts to him not laying on top platform and says, all right, you're down here. All right, grab. Yeah. Oh, and blazer midair just to get him off. Nice. Uh, look, yeah. man, punish. B <laughs> hey, big damage. To be, you know, to be honest, though, uh, punishing counters, that's been something that's, like, been left behind for most people. But Okay, he's still alive, though, but he used his jump to, to get out of the blast zone. But luckily, he's able to get back on the stage. And crouching under that ABK, I like that. Ooh. All right. Down till uh, Lima not playing those games no more. He got hit with that Dungeon on Shield once and said, you know what, bro? you're going to have to pay for that. Nice SDI and DI from Goblin getting out of that combo finisher. And now Bayonetta has... Oh, 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 oh. Huh? He was so confident in a roll. He I, was so confident in a rollback. I think he was afraid it was going to drop because he was kind of at the ledge. It was a weird spot. Oh, that could be it, too. Yeah. I didn't even account for that. Wow. But one, one way or another, Goblin is still holding on to that stock, and this is the second time in this set already. We've seen heavy percent Roy mm -hmm. against Bayonetta, and that is, that is not a good feeling when Roy is just, like, staring at you and his percent is deep red. Like, yep. oh, my God, please get away from me. Whoa. No, she's going to do it, though. Nice. And that is, that's one of those moves that's a hard jump call out, mm -hmm. right? All right, Bayonetta getting the double witch twist. Nice 29 to start it off. Oh, and platform chase. Nice. There we go. Double up or into the back. There's so much damage from Bayonetta, man. Are we talking about Roy's damage all play? No. Bayonetta yeah. can do it all right back. It's just a matter of when you get to those high percents, what can she do about exactly, it, you know? Exactly, yeah. Right now, she's trying to go for the edge guard. Nice. Okay. Yeah, like you were talking about, he says, oh, I'm in a difficult situation. I'm going to ledge. Yeah, no, <laughs> I'm, I'm out of here. Oh, hey, what? Hey, no, 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 no. That was not <laughs> intentional. The, the only I thing I can say is if he meant to do that, he was trying to trade with ABK. Yeah. That's the only thing I could think of. Yeah, but I don't I don't know. Yeah. I, I guess I shouldn't overanalyze it because I don't really like, understand, like, everything that could have happened there. Right. But on one way or another, you dropped that style way earlier than you were planning to, and right. now it, 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 the set is back in Lima's control. Up there, and that, that double witch twist. Oh. Okay, again, oh. good SDI. Late Nair going to push uh, Goblin further away from the stage. And Lima just going to take that list for himself. Okay, nice tech. Ah, I like the tech roll. One thing I have to comment on, by the way, mm -hmm. the way Lima, like, uses the idea of the top platform. Like, he's not yeah. always going to it after the mm -hmm. ABKs mm -hmm. or the witch twist, but because of the way that he's using these moves and these resources, it makes you think he wants to go there yeah. in a different spot. He changes trajectory, and all of a sudden, he's safe. Yeah, and I want to point out another kind of compliment to both players there was that Lima, ooh. Not dead. That wasn't the, I don't think that was the super sweet spot on that back air. Yeah, I'll return to my topic in between games. Right now, we got a high rage goblin. Barely get out of disadvantage, and? and this is the situation we saw last game where Goblin was able to bring it back. Lima smartly air dodging up there instead of air dodging in because Goblin was was readying himself for that forward smash. Mm -hmm. And with all this rage, Ooh. goodbye. That yep. nice combo. Up nice. air, up smash. It looks so pretty. Yep. Just a, the quick little drive-by damage into the smash attack. Love yep. that. But yeah, what I was talking about before is that, that jab back here that took Lima's second stock. Mm. Uh, that's one of the, or it was jab forward air that time. That was one of the first ones that's been hit. Lima has been doing great of prematurely DIing down and away for every jab that he thinks is coming, right? Because again, you're not reacting to it, you're predicting it. Right. Yeah. yeah. And so he's predicting it over and over again and getting out of so many situations where other players die. All right, so now we're going into game three, one game apiece. Town and City. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm not as rehearsed as I should be with Bayonetta and like her good stages yeah. and such. Do you have anything that would uh, help us out here? It's a little hard to say. I mean, the nice thing is that it's going to be a little hard for her to kill you off the top because of the ceiling, you know, and all that. But the, I think the main thing here isn't Bayonetta's weaknesses. It's Roy's strengths. He wants to get him to the side and take him with side B, take him with jab back here. Those things. So. I feel that. I really, feel, I really do feel that. Yep. All right, landing with that down air, but surprisingly not as punishable as one might think. Uh, Goblin not getting that force match that he wanted on that. All right, so now Lima popped up in the air. He's going to go to the ledge. That's his yeah. home. He's fine there. Nice. And Goblin probably looking for a retreating option right there. Lima didn't give it to him. Just gives him a, a wish twist instead. Yeah. All right, yeah. Goblin looking for the uh, the jump, but Bayonetta's jumps go high. All right, let's see. Wish twist back to the ledge. Yep. Goblin trying to find a way to keep Lima in the corner. And it's something, something about Lima, man. He's just so tricky. Yeah. It's, just, it's very hard to pin this character down, especially yeah. when it's being wielded by someone as skillful as we Right. Back air, and that is nice. going to do it. 
All right, 107, though. Goblin's put himself in a good position to tie this up in a moment's notice. We'll just have to see how he does it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Lehman keeps taking these, these leads, but it feels like Goblin's always right there behind him. Ooh. All right. Yeah, well, you know, I'll take it. Yeah, the RNG up tilt. Yeah. It, it, it did his job there. And did you see it beat out the other move? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it is a sword character at the end of the day. It doesn't feel like it because, like, he doesn't really play the range game. He just kind of, like, mm -hmm. plays this, like, ape game at you, and you're right. like, you're watching him, like, constantly yeah. attack you. It's the irony of, of giving a, a sword fighter a sweet spot on the close hitbox. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Oh, okay. good parry on the back nice. here. It gives him a surefire punish right there. And the tech chasing? And the, the read on the jump? Yeah. Man, Goblin's, Goblin's playing clean right now. He is. Oh, right. okay. So guys, jump. Weird little bounce off of that, and, but I like the way he adjusted our cover right there because he saw the potential of the drop down witch time, mm -hmm. and then he just double jump, air dodge jump. Yeah, I'm fine. Oh, the beautiful! Universe. I love the wave bounce, bro. I love that. Close. It's got it. Yo, no, yeah, that that rapid jab, extremely buffed. Yeah. It's so good now. All right, 80% on Lima right now. He's just looking for a safe way to get in there and start that damage because I'm, what I've noticed that Lima really like plays in this way where it's like everything Ooh. before the initial hit, safe, 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 exactly. safe, safe. But once I'm in, oh, advantage is never ending. If you <laughs> think we're back in neutral, you're we're not. Right. Like, I promise you we're not. Now, watch how they're playing now. They're playing way more grounded than they were initially. Both of them, oh, you know, getting a little wrong right there. But they're, they're a lot more afraid to jump than they were before. Right. Uh-oh. Wow, all right. Double forward there, and Goblin again using that backer to turn or, turn himself around, yep. reverses momentum, get back to the stage freely. Okay, nice. Racking up the damage. Oh, heel slide barely not catching. Oh, the, and the lock. reset on that double edge dance. I like that idea. Yeah. Oh, and caught the job, jab out of the witch twist. All right, so now Lima is off stage. And this is the where you do not want to be against Roy. And you had enough time to charge that up. What was what? That was, yeah, no. I think that was intentional. Yeah. Oh, but it just looked weird that yeah. he had that much time to do that because with Bayonetta, you're just so used to. Oh, I gotta get this punish now because you might right. be gone. You know. It was just so like. Oh, okay. Hel take it Hel high. Wait. Oh, just not a stock yet. And oh. the Goblin is still not down. This, this one, this one starter. might be it though. All right, okay. that Nair not gonna do it and gets around the witch time again. But now you're on the ledge against Roy. No, you're not. Oh, I'm winning this game against Roy. Oh, yes, nice. sir. Yes, sir. Oh, wow. Goblin's been so afraid of the up tilt back air. So the one time that Lima goes for the up tilt and doesn't get the back air, he's able to prime himself into position where he yep. sees uh, Goblin air dodge away. All right, that's what's going to hit. And you're not going to be able yeah. to, you know, get out of that in time. Yeah. And despite those those um, smash decks, you know, kind of weirdness with people a lot of times call it low priority, right? They lose to other things because they're, yeah. they're coded differently. They're coded like... Um, um, Projectiles. Yeah, like proje uh, projectiles and items. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And so a lot of people kind of have this impression that they're weak because they lose to so many moves. But man, they're huge. They hit hard. Yeah. That's why you see a lot of Bayonetta players just kind of like rely on them for the KOs because for a lot of people, it, for a long time, even before all these buffs, it felt like that was like really the only way she was ever going to get stocks. Yeah. Because yeah. like that back air is like it's always been strong, but like you don't, you never really got the opportunity to consistently link into it and yeah. it was very telegraphed. Exactly. But now you've got all these confirms into the smash attacks. You have these, these traps and loops and setting up where if you land here, I have this. You press too many buttons, I am not afraid to press that witch time button. Yeah. Okay, good start for Lima. Yeah, and they're holding the guns, yep. Yeah. But Goblin recognized that after the first time that his attack got stuffed out, he was still able to press forward and do something. Yeah. Oh, the from downtown. All right now. <laughs> yeah. I did not expect him to die just then. No. All oh, right. air dodge up. Two good sauce. All right. Back air is going to get Lima off stage. And again, Lima just so slippery at the ledge, man. Just so slippery around the entire stage, really. It, like, it, it feels... I cannot over oh! state how <laughs> impossible it feels to pin Lima down. And just as I say that, Goblin finds a way. And this game is looking as even as ever. Yeah, man. Okay. Bro, wait, what? No, whoa. They're popping off Yeah, this no, time. I'm good. Like, th this is down airs galore. Oh. Ah, I didn't even do that. Yeah. Okay, well, goodbye. <laughs> what is, this is one of the most bizarre games. This is uh, alternative programming. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, All right, there we go. Yeah. Fin finally back to normalcy here with the Witch Twist Punish. Yep. Goblin at ledge right here. Lima with the nice. clean pivot grab catching him as soon as he puts up a shield. And then the lingering air is going to bounce him up. And that's what he's been looking for down here. And that yeah. is going to do it so pretty, man. 
the witch twist to pop them up. They gave the slight angle, the good setup for that down air, and of course that's going to send them right off the side. Down air is super strong. Yep. Okay, Goblin a lot behind this time. Most of the time he's been a little bit behind and just, you know, the Rage Warrior has always been there in the background, but this time he's got two stocks to take. All right, buddy, this is a good start. You get that clean up air to forward air, or up air to back air, excuse me. And right, now, Bayonetta at ledge. You have to find a way to capitalize right here. I've been saying time and time again, Lima is just so difficult to pin down, but you have to find a way to do it. Mm -hmm. Ah, the nice. parry, it, it wasn't even enough, man, yeah. but I understand. And good recovery right there with that blazer, using those platforms that were sl uh, slowly floating away. Okay. All right. And you can see just how much respect that Whoa. Goblin is paying the... Uh, the pseudo air dash that Bayonetta has with ADK yeah. at, uh -huh. at ledge, you can't just like be at ledge the way you are against other characters because right. then she'll be at center and you miss your opportunity. Exactly, yeah. Even if you block the ABK, like you're saying, it, it crosses you up, so you gotta be careful. Oh, triple. And into the forward air, into the ABK. Oh my god, look oh. at the damage being racked up by Lima wow. right now. Gabba's almost at 100, and he is at 100 now after the F throw. That F throw, good angle for him. And, and he cuts off with the. Is yo. That it? That's it. Yo. Wow. That was hot. That, that was hot. hot. Yeah. Oh, my God. The whole 80% combo, it felt like. Yeah. Into offstage, into cutting off the recovery of Wish Twist, into the fair 1, 2, 3. Slowed it down for him, too. Yeah. 1, 2, 3, yeah. and you're gone. That was great.